every single MCAT that you take, uh, that score will be reported. So there's no way to hide your scores unless you cancel the test. So on the day of, when you take the test, if you decide to cancel it, then they just won't see your score, but they'll also see that you canceled your score. So that's number one. So they see all of your scores. It's kind of like a transcript. They see everything that has happened. That's number one. Number two, um, medical schools, each medical school has a different policy of how they handle multiple scores. Some schools do average your scores. So they will say, okay, you took the test twice, let's average those two. Or you took the test three times, let's average those two. Some will say we're gonna take the highest score overall. Some will say we're gonna take the highest score in any given section. Some will say we're only going to accept or we're only going to consider the most recent score. Some will say we're gonna consider all of the scores. So it really depends on the school. Here's what we do know. What we do know is that the MCAT's a seven and a half hour exam, and you probably don't want to be taking it more than once or more than twice at, at maximum. What we do know is that you want to maximize your MCAT score when you do ultimately take it, because they're going to be seeing all of the scores. So they're going to, you know, they, they even, they might see your most recent score and it's, you know, much higher than your previous score, but they'll still see that previous score. What we do know though, that you want to definitely kind of keep in the back of your mind or really keep in the forefront of your mind is that if you are going to retake the MCAT, the worst thing that you can do for yourself as far as this application is to get the same score as you got the first time or to get a lower score the second time. So if you are going to retake this MCAT, then you want to make sure that your score is improving. 